Hello everyone and welcome. I have owned my Tesla Model 3 for about two years now and so we're going to be going into what the biggest problem I've been facing with Tesla during these two years. And if you want to know how I feel about the car overall, I'd recommend checking out my one year video review after owning this car for a year. Um, I still agree with absolutely everything I said in that video and I think this is pretty much the best daily driver out there and I think it's crazy that two years later there's still really not anything that's a direct competitor to this. Maybe the Polestar 2, but I feel like that's kind of this more luxury sedan. It doesn't have quite the range. It doesn't have the speed. It's not really, you know, an electric sports sedan in the same price bracket as this Model 3. But look, this is the internet, right? We're not trying to just like gush over Tesla and talk about how fantastic we think the company is. The internet wants to hear the bad news. So that's what we're here for. Let's, let's do a little trash talking. And so the biggest problem I've had with Tesla consistently has been service. Service is a pretty challenging thing. The good news with electric cars is you don't need service all that often. The bad news is that it can be kind of difficult when you do. So I've had five experiences thus far with Tesla service. Two of those were actually pretty fantastic. That was with their mobile service, which I think is an awesome thing. They come to your house, they do the service. You don't even have to be there if you don't want to. Uh, so for the first thing that I had done when I got the car, it actually didn't come with the rear spoiler. It wasn't on it yet. So mobile service came and put the rear spoiler on. Great. Well, that spoiler eventually started to detach from the car. And I think the problem here is that carbon fiber is very rigid. And so you're trying to shape this carbon fiber piece to the back of the car. And if it's not an exact perfect fit, uh, you know, they're just using 3M like double-sided tape basically to stick this on. And so if it's not an exact fit, it wants to pop up off of those corners. And so that's what happened to the first spoiler. And so Tesla Mobile Service, once again, under warranty, thankfully came and replaced that spoiler put a new one on well the new one's already becoming detached you can see there on the corner it's already coming up um, so you know not great there but not my problem with the service that's just kind of a fitment issue right there now my third experience with Tesla service was running over a pothole getting two flat tires and destroying two wheels uh, and overall you know the service experience I can't really blame Tesla for as it was an unexpected visit it's not like I had an appointment I showed up I was like look I've got two destroyed wheels I need these replaced and six and a half hours later, I was back on the road. I think the challenge that I had there was that they were very uncertain whether or not they would actually have wheels in stock. And that to me seemed a little crazy that they wouldn't have the wheels in stock to replace them. But they did, I got them on, off I went six and a half hours later. So not a huge deal there. Now, fourth experience with Tesla service, again, going to wheels. So when I bought this car in 2018, they had a referral program where if you got enough referrals, I think it was like three or for referrals, you can get a set of performance wheels. Well, I got that said number of referrals, and so I got the performance wheels, and so you had to set up an appointment with Tesla Service to get them installed. And so I thought, while I'm in there, while I'm you know getting this thing with the wheels put on, I'll just have them service the brakes. They recommend that if you live in an area with salted roads, that you should have the brakes serviced if you come in you know once a year or so. So I scheduled the appointment. I think it was like 10:15 in the morning that I had my appointment to get on wheels, and then just loop and cleaning the brakes. Very simple task. Well, they gave me a loaner and said, you know, you can take off. It's probably going to take us a little bit. So I was like, okay, drove home. Uh, the whole day goes by. It's three o'clock and I gave them a call. So this is like five hours later. I gave them a call and I'm like, hey, am I going to be able to pick up my car today? And they were uncertain. They were like, uh, I'm not sure. We're, we're hoping to get it done a little bit later today. And I'm like, will you guys close in an hour? Like, what's the deal? Are we going to get this done or not? And again, I'm not putting the blame on the employee employees there like they're working their butts off they've got so much work they're scheduled out well uh, a month in advance so the amount of work put onto these employees hands is more than they can actually deal with so I don't blame them for being behind and being slow but I had an appointment right like if you schedule an appointment there should be scheduled time to take care of your car so anyways, I drive to the place, I get there right when they close, and thankfully they were just finishing it up, and I was able to pick up the wheels and tires. So, quick, simple job, ends up taking the entire day, I finally get the car back. Now, my fifth experience with Tesla service, and this is perhaps the most annoying, is that once I had these wheels, and these are the zero G wheels, they're part of Tesla's track package for the Model 3, well, I was actually planning on taking my Model 3 to the track. And I thought, well, you know, maybe I should do a test with Tesla's actual track package with my Model 3, since I already have the wheels. So if you look at their track package online, it comes with wheels, it comes with, uh, they've got different brake pads, and they put on 
some Michelin Cup 2s, which are off-the-shelf tires, so I wasn't worried about getting those. I could get those tires. I've got the wheels. All I needed to get was these track pads. So I contacted my local Tesla service center and I said, hey, you know, I've, I've already got the wheels. Is there a way that I can just order the track pads so that I can kind of complete this track package on my own for my car and then take it on a track and see how it does? Well, 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 seems like a very easy question. Hey, can I get some track pads? Uh, but not an easy answer. So Tesla service, the service center that I called said, hey, I'm not sure how you order these without the wheels. You need to email this email uh, and ask them about how to get these track pads. So that's what I did. I sent the email to Tesla and I said hello I have the track package wheels on my car but I'm curious if I can order just the track package pads are the pads for the Model 3 track package different from the pads that come on the Model 3 performance if so is there a way to order these separately I only see them listed with the wheels and tires which I already have also do you have a shipping ETA on track package pads okay so their response a week later again I was trying to get this thing on a track I thought I could get all the parts in time uh, but that did not happen personal things came up so I didn't actually end up doing the track day but they got back to me a week later and they said, hello, Jason, thank you for contacting Tesla support. I am sorry for the delay in my response. We do not have a separate item on the Tesla shop for upgrading your brakes. There is a track package, but this is not sold a la carte. My recommendation would be to reach out to your service center for options. Okay, so to summarize here, a week after contacting my service center, who told me to contact an email, the email tells me to contact my service center to figure out how to get these brake pads. So two contacts at Tesla, neither of them can tell me how I can order these brake pads. And that to me is just kind of ridiculous. And so I'm thinking, how in the world do you actually order parts from these guys? It's like, you can't, you have to order it with the track package. So, you know, presumably there is someone out there who bought the track package, doesn't need anything except for pads because they've gone through the pads and needs to buy them and you can't find them. So I went on, you know, Tesla's website, epc.tesla.com. You can find the parts number, uh, but it's just like this impossible task just to order brake pads. And that's so bizarre to me because literally any other company, any other car company, you can call their dealer and they will happily overcharge you for any performance part you could ever imagine. They'll be like, yeah, we'll, we'll buy that for you. We'll get you whatever you need and they'll get it for you. They may even have it in stock already and they'll happily overcharge charge you for it. But with Tesla, it's this thing that's on their shop website, but you can't order it individually and calling a service center, they just tell you to email someone and the email tells you to call the service center and you never end up getting the parts. Now, part of me thought, okay, I'm just like crazy and just having bad luck with this. So I contacted my friend Rich of Rich Rebuilds and I was like, Rich, how do you get Tesla parts? And he just kind of laughed at me and he was like, dude, you don't. And so, you know, this is, this is a legitimate problem. Like if you're just trying to get something for your car, it should not be nearly this difficult. You should just have a number that you call. These are the parts I need. Here's my money. Like I'm trying to give a company money and they're making it too difficult to do. That to me is bizarre and I, and I hate that about this experience. Everything else about the car, I mean, it's genuinely fantastic. I love it. And there are sacrifices like that service nonsense that I'm willing to put up with because I like this car so much, but I don't think that makes it excusable. I, I still feel like it should be simple that if you want something, if you want to pay for something with your own money, you should be able to do so. So there's my rant on my biggest problem with Tesla and that's just the experiences with service. I've had this car for two years. Honestly, I didn't expect to keep it this long. I kind of thought, you know, I'd try out something different, um, but I've been very impressed with the vehicle overall. It's super fun. Um, I haven't had any issues as far as reliability to this point, so that's nice. It's just genuinely a fantastic daily driver. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, of course, feel free to leave them below.